Oh yeah, third time is definitely a charm. YouTube family, what up though? If you didn't know, I'm DJ Swaver, and this is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. If you haven't already, be sure you hit that subscribe button right now, and make sure you hit that bell button right next to it, so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Also, if you haven't already, be sure you're giving the kid a follow on all the major social media platforms. On this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a super dope sneaker that I myself am pretty hyped to have been able to get my hands on. The sneaker I'm talking about is the Cell and Cargo colorway of the collab between Nike and acronym on the Air Vapor Max Mach 2. If you didn't know, this is the final sneaker of a three colorway sneaker pack between acronym and Nike on the Vapor Max Mach 2. I happen to have the first two colorways and I actually did a sneaker review on the Black and Volt colorway which was the second release. If you haven't seen that video already, I'll post a link to that at the top of the screen. Check that out after you check out this review right here. And that leads me directly to my question for this video. If a sneaker company releases shoes in a designated pack, how likely are you to try to go after every sneaker in that pack in order to complete it? I know for myself, when it comes to packs, I'm doing everything I can to get every every single sneaker in that pack. I don't care if there's five sneakers in the pack and only one of those sneakers is fly. I'm still gonna do everything I can to get those other four wax sneakers. The whole point of a pack to me is to get every sneaker in the pack. I mean, that's why it's called a pack. Now, sometimes going after every sneaker in a pack at one time can become super expensive. What I tend to do is go after the sneaker that I want the most in that pack and then eventually down the line, somehow get the other sneakers in a pack. Doing it that way is a little bit easier on my wallet too, you feel me? No. I've literally got one sneaker in the pack and then waited another two years to get the rest of the sneakers. That's how dedicated I am when it comes to completing a pack that released. But of course, I want to know what y'all think about this subject. Let me know down in the comment section right now your opinion on the importance of completing a sneaker pack. Let me know if you feel like it's an absolute must to complete a pack of sneakers. Let me know if you think it's completely pointless to complete a pack of sneakers. Hit that comment section up right now and let me know your opinion on this question. While y'all are hitting that comment section up, let Let's go ahead and take a look at this third colorway of the Nike and Acronym Vapor Max collab. Being that I like to call myself a sneaker collector, it was a no-brainer that I had to get this third colorway to complete this Nike and Acronym Vapor Max pack. From the pictures that I saw on social media, I honestly felt like this sneaker was gonna be the best colorway to release so far. Sneaker companies kind of have a tendency to save the best for last. I'm hoping that's the case as soon as I open this box. Being that I'm excited about seeing this last colorway, let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. And this is the sale and cargo colorway of the Nike and Acronym collab on the Air Vapor Max Mach 2. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it real with y'all. This colorway doesn't hit me with the same excitement as the other two colorways that released in this pack. Not that this colorway is ugly by any means, it just doesn't give me that same type of excitement. This sale and cargo colorway has the same knit pattern that you would find on the other two colorways that previously released. The color of the knit on the upper of this sneaker is a mixture of cargo green and sale. The accent that I do love on this sneaker is that almost peach color color used on the welded technology on the rear portion of the sneaker. I feel like that peach hit is a nice contrast from the sale and cargo green colors on the rest of the upper. But of course the main difference between the previous two colorways that released and this sale and cargo colorway is that air unit on the bottom. The previous two colorways had a whited out and a blacked out air unit respectively. The clear air unit used on this sale and cargo colorway is exactly the same as 90% of the Vapor Max that have released to date. I honestly feel like if they would have matted this sneaker out with like a green color on the air unit, this sneaker would have been so fire. I feel like Nike kind of sold itself short by just putting the normal clear Vapor Max Air unit on this sneaker. And that pretty much explains this selling cargo colorway of the Nike and acronym Air Vapor Max Mach 2. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm only giving this sneaker a 7. Don't get me wrong, this sneaker is fly, but it just doesn't have that dopeness and flair of the previous two colorways that released. And that leads me directly to this. Which one of the three colorways in this Nike and Acronym Vapor Max pack do you think is the flyest? Do you think the first sneaker, which is the black and white colorway, is the flyest in the pack? Do you think this second sneaker in the pack, the black and volt colorway, is by far the dopest? Or do you think the third and final sneaker in this pack, the selling cargo colorway, is the flyest? Hit that comment section up right now and let me know 
which sneaker in the pack you think is by far the dopest. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know right now, my vote is for the black and vault colorway. But back to this sale and cargo colorway, this sneaker retailed for 220 bucks, but surprisingly, it hasn't sold out everywhere that it released. Being that it hasn't sold out at a lot of places that released it, there is no resale value for this sneaker. If you really want this sneaker and you do your due diligence, you can find this sneaker for retail on a lot of websites. If you're paying resale for this sale and cargo colorway, you clearly like giving away money. If you really want this sneaker, it shouldn't be hard at all to get your hands on it for retail. In most cases, the final sneaker on the pack is normally the icing on the cake. But for some reason, I feel like Nike kind of dropped the ball on this third and final sneaker of this Nike and acronym Vapor Max pack. Nonetheless, I'm glad to have this third sneaker just so I could complete this pack. And this is the selling cargo colorway of the Nike and acronym collab on the Air Vapor Max Mach 2. And that, my friends, is how you complete a sneaker pack. As an avid sneaker collector, there's nothing more fulfilling than getting every sneaker in a dope pack. I just wish the third and final sneaker in this pack would have blown the first two out of the water. But hey, you can't have it all, can you? If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button, smash that like button for me, and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And when you subscribe, be sure to hit that bell button next to the subscribe button so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Once again, I'm DJ Swaver. This was another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. And until next time, peace.